Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alex Young and I just wanted to let you guys know that Small Rig and I are actually doing a giveaway for this exact wedding rig that I'm using for the Zhenyun Crane 2. So stay until the very end of the video to find out how you can enter. Okay, so in my previous video, I talked about the Zhenyun Crane 3 and the Crane 2 and why I've been using the Crane 2 a lot more this past year for shooting weddings. And I showed you guys briefly about my wedding filmmaking rig for my gimbal. And so today I wanna dive in a little bit more onto that setup and show you guys exactly exactly how I rig it up. These are all the accessories that I'm using and they're all from Small Rig. Now the reason why I came up with this rig is because I've used the more traditional dual handle setup and they predominantly use your shoulder and I don't got any. So that's a that's a no for me. And I won't be able to operate that sort of wide grip handle thing for more than 10, 15 minutes. Using my rig, the handles are much closer together, which means you're using more of your chest, your bicep, and a little bit of your shoulder as well. And not so much only your shoulders, which are killer. It's a really insane workout. If you really wanted to, you can just hold that thing for like an hour straight and your shoulders are dead. <laughs> the closer the handles are together, the easier it is to use and the longer you're able to use it for, which is pretty important when you're shooting like a 30 minute ceremony. And it's much easier with this setup to get those smaller movements when you're shooting close up detailed shots. My rig is super simple to set up. So I'm going to start with everything disassembled first. And then as I build it up, I'll explain to you guys what each part is for. Now, the first thing that we need to do is attach the mounting plate, which is what literally everything is going to be based off of no matter what rig you're using. Now, this one is specific to the Zirin Crane 2. And if you have a DJI Ronin S or a different brand, you have to get the specific one for that gimbal. And it's held together by these two little Allen screws and you need to use an Allen wrench in order to loosen it, slip it right onto the crane two and tighten it. You can mount it at the bottom or what I like to do is actually mount it towards the middle. That way if when I eventually mount the monitor, it's not too far away from my face in order to look at every little detail and make sure I'm not missing anything. And before I tighten it, I wanna make sure that the RE screw mount is facing towards me and that's where that monitor is gonna go. Next, I'm gonna be mounting the two handles. Mine are different because the leather one I bought about six years ago and then I got the metal one for a different reason. I don't think that they sell the leather ones anymore, but they have this rubber version which I totally recommend because it's much more comfortable to grip and hold onto for longer periods of time over the metal ones. But one really cool thing about the metal handle is that it already includes an Allen wrench magnetized right onto the side of it. And you can take it off and easily tighten or loosen your screws and remount and reposition it any way you want at any time without having to think about bringing another tool. And for me, I like to mount these two handles facing up, but you can always mount it the other way as well. And then the next thing that I'm mounting is my Atomos Ninja V or Ninja 5. I don't know how to say it. I think it's a 5, but I say V all the time. And in order to do that, I'm using the monitor mount with RE locating pins and I'm screwing that onto the front of the mounting plate where the little screw things are. The little holes on the screw are for you to put an Allen key right through and tighten it further. After that, I secure my monitor on there. And again, you wanna use that Allen key to help you tighten it all the way down by slipping it right through the middle and then just twisting. I really love the design of Small Rig products that's super well thought out and very simple. And you can also tighten the grip of the monitor mount to make it harder or easier to adjust your monitor by tightening or loosening the Allen screws. After that, all you need to do is plug in your HDMI cables and your good to start shooting. So in total, I spent about $134 on the parts that I listed out, not including the monitor and not including the gimbal itself. So I understand that it is extra costs on top of everything, but if you're shooting a lot of projects per year or per month, it quickly pays itself off because you're able to operate it much better and you get smoother footage. Thanks so much for watching this video. And like I said, Small Rig and I are doing a giveaway for this exact wedding rig that I'm using for the Zoom Crane 2, which is these two handles, the mounting plate, and the monitor mount. This giveaway is open worldwide, and in order to enter, make sure you are subscribed to this channel, and then follow me and Small Rig on Instagram, and comment down below what your Instagram handle is. I'll be picking one random person as a winner one week after this video has been posted. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell to get notified of every video that I post. My name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.